Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, November 23rd. Uh, this week, we're going to take a look at your current energies, and then we're going to clarify with the Lenormand and see what comes up. But, uh, Gemini, let's see what is going on for you here. A ton of abundance in this first row. I definitely like that. There's like a lot of success uh, coming up for you here in this first uh, position, so that's nice. Uh, could be going through a transformation here, um, so we'll have to look into that. But let's see what is going on for you here, Gemini and Gemini. Uh, your overall energy is the flexible card. I do feel like you need to be flexible uh, or will need to be flexible at this time this week. Um, again, if you don't know how I do the spread, I have a video down below explaining it, but this is just your current situation. Then when we clarify, we look for any solutions or any advice from the universe as to like how to overcome these obstacles since you create your own reality, Gemini. So uh, this last row looks a little bit challenging but again, uh, watch that video. <laughs> this is what I'd say there. Uh, but uh, I do feel like this could be like a need to be flexible. You start off, you have the butterfly card here as well. So obviously that would be uh, you going through some sort of transformation. But like I said, overall, it doesn't look like a bad reading. And we're also going to see uh, what we come up with with this last row on how to overcome these challenges. Uh, but you have the fish card here. This card is a card of abundance, so I do feel there could be a lot of abundance coming in for you here, which is nice. Um, I, normally, I don't say that about this card, but uh, you do have the Ten of Pentacles there. So I do feel for some of you, this could be a lot of abundance coming in through work or business, of course, Gemini. Uh, for others, I feel like this is the need. Like, I feel like you need a win. Here, uh, in this deck, the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle, or uh, Wild Unknown Animal Tarot, or whatever it's called, um, they, uh, the book says that this card represents needing a small win or needing to have, that's one of the meanings, uh, needing to have a small victory here. I definitely feel like you need a small victory. I feel like you need to, get to kind of like get that um, motivation that a small win can provide you. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. I feel like for some of you, uh, for some of you, I feel like this is not being sure um, what you want out of a situation here, Gemini. I don't feel this is true for all of you, but uh, Ten of Pentacles, Hermit, and the Four of Cups. It's like you see your Ten of Pentacles is what this reading is saying. I feel like you see something that could provide you with your Ten of Pentacles, which could be a family, could be marriage, could be true love, it could be business, work, could be anything. Uh, Ten of Pentacles to me is the tree of life, and it is a very good card, of course. So I feel like you see something as something that is truly good for you or would be truly good for you in the future. Now you have the Hermit and the Four of Cups here, but it's like for some reason you feel like you can't have it or you feel like there is a mountain to climb for you to be able to achieve this Ten of Pentacles with the Hermit card. The Hermit says, you've already climbed the mountain. <laughs> so it's a little contradictory, the message that's popping into my head, because I feel like you already have climbed the mountain. Uh, maybe you just need to realize in this first row that you can you deserve your ten of pentacles that you deserve everything you want in life uh, for others again this could just be something that you see that you want and this last row could say that there is a transformation that needs to happen the hermit is kind of facing your shadow it is going through a dark night of the soul even as well so i feel for some of you maybe you've had to go through or will be going through a dark period of time um, but you know you're looking for that ten of pentacles i feel like you're heading towards the ten of pentacles uh, next, you have the Six of Cups here. Six of Cups is a card of a turnaround to me. Uh, it can represent nostalgia, thinking about the past. Um, you know, it can represent thinking about next, things like that. But for you, I feel like this is talking about a turnaround. I feel that there could be a lot of like good things coming in for you here. I feel like the energy is changing as well. Obviously, you have this butterfly energy, so I do feel there is a uh, there is an energy of things kind of turning around. I kind of feel like things are on the razor, like razor's edge for some of you, Gemini. This butterfly card is a card of like things being very fragile and kind of being in this very fragile state. So I do feel that just in your life in general, some of you, uh, this could be your emotions, it could be just you in general being in a fragile state, but I do feel positive about it as well. Um, you know, this can kind of represent something that is um, evolving, something that is blossoming in your life, but it's just not quite there yet. It's kind of like in a delicate state is what I'm getting. Uh, in this row here, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Moon here. Um, 
definitely some fears. I do feel like some fears of uh, could have caused the end of a relationship. Coming in very specifically, three of pentacles, either you or a person like wasn't too sure about the future. I'm getting the word future on the three of pentacles, which is pretty weird because it's not really a card of the future. Uh, it is a card of quality work, but I feel like for some of you, there could have been an ending in a relationship because somebody was afraid of the amount of work that was being put in, or maybe they thought that work wouldn't continue to be put in or something like that is popping into my head. I only feel that for some of you. For others, I feel like this is you kind of like trying to move on from some difficult situations here with the moon card. So the moon can definitely represent fears, illusions, fantasies, uh, disappointments, you know, scary things. So I feel like you are trying to move on with this Six of Swords. Um, this is definitely like rite of passage energy, the hermit and the Six of Swords here. It's like going through some sort of rite of passage. Six of Swords is a rite of passage. It's like, you know, Six of Swords, they are still in choppy waters. So I feel for some of you, Gemini, I, you're still maybe in these choppy waters in life. And again, I don't sugarcoat my readings, but again, we're going to come up with solutions to this in just a second. Like I say, tarot isn't set, set in stone. I've changed my readings because again, to me, uh, this doesn't control your life. To me, the reason you're watching tarot is to learn how to avoid this or to learn how to work with this energy. Uh, this is not something that's going to control you right now, Gemini. So again, that's why we're going to clarify in just a minute. But I do, like, like I said, I do feel like that some of you could be in a very fragile state with this um, butterfly energy or you could be kind of going through some challenges here yeah you have a star though definitely could be after a tower moment it's funny because i almost said the tower on that six of swords um the reason i almost said the tower is because there's these roots going down here you know everybody likes to freak out about the tower as i always say but it's like the tower, when the tower falls, it gets reduced down to its foundation, but it's like, it's still, you know, standing. You're not starting from scratch. I feel like I said this in your um, month, in your mid-monthly reading as well, Gemini. So I feel like for some of you, you could have experienced probably like multiple tower moments or like a dark night of the soul, maybe over the last like six months or so. I feel like this is like a thing that you've been dealing with for a while, Gemini. And that could be your, in your emotions. It could be um, with other people. It could be having to do with money. And I feel like this is something that you're healing from now with the star energy. So definitely very positive for you. Uh, this is not so positive. The Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. Definitely this could be like a breakup due to lying, cheating, stealing. Plain and simple with this Six of Swords. You have the Moon here as well. Uh, could have been a Virgo if you were dealing with a Virgo. Could be any sign, uh, but Virgo is the only sign that really uh, kind of stands out to me here. Could have been a Pisces as well. You do have Pisces here, but I feel like there could have been some sort of lying, cheating, stealing situation, and this could be causing a lot of fears, sleepless nights, and just not being certain of the future with this Nine of Swords. Um, I keep getting the word future um, up here. I don't think it's talking about in the future. I feel like it's talking about um, just, you know, kind of like fears of the future, if that makes sense, Gemini. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like you're probably healing. Uh, three of swords is temporary. I mean, to me, all swords cards are temporary. The swords energy is kind of like wind, you know, it doesn't last forever. Or and on a lot of swords cards, it's raining, like on the three of swords. It doesn't rain forever. So I feel this could be a temporary energy that you're going through. But definitely, like, I get something about a very fragile state here uh, going on. I feel like for some of you, it's almost like you're on a balance beam. You know, you have that flexible card there. But it's almost like you're trying to balance something out. Or either this could be a person in your life as well. You know, it strikes me as a type of person who's trying to make sure everything is perfect so that they don't lose you. Like, I feel like, um, let me try to rephrase that, Gemini, because it's coming in very specific, like, specifically. I feel like for some of you, you could be trying to, you could be dealing with someone here who it's like, maybe they have two situations going on. Like uh, you're in a third party situation or, you know, this could be you as well. I'm not saying that you're in a third party, that you have created a third party, but you could be in a situation where it's like, you're trying to balance uh, two things out. And I feel like you're trying to prevent some sort of disaster with this seven of swords. So uh, the seven of swords can represent um, avoiding or trying to avoid a disaster because he is like stealing these swords from this military uh, or from this army down here, Gemini, and it kind of represents the fact that he's stealing those swords so they can't be used against him in battle. And I do get that for some of you, that either you or a person that you're dealing with, it's like you're trying to avoid some sort of challenge here, is what I'd say here. So uh, yeah, definitely, um, like I said, not going to sugarcoat it. This is challenging so far. I'm going to pull you an extra row just to see, let's see uh, what's going to happen in the future, Gemini, because since the whole top row here wants to keep saying future, 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 uh, let's see, uh, like, where is this going in the future for you, Gemini? Uh, things going by the book. I do feel like you need to make sure to do things like above board and things like that. Yeah, you have the Ace of Cups here. 
the uh, King of Pentacles, and you have the Sun. <laughs> okay, um, so that looks very happy. <laughs> I feel like no matter what you're dealing with right now, because this obviously looks like a big mess, um, a big, like, nasty soup or something like that, I don't know. Uh, I feel like uh, this looks very challenging. I feel like in the future, things look much more positive uh, than you realize here. So you have the Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Sun. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting obvious answer is what's popping into my head. For some of you, I feel like maybe, um, again, I feel like also saying no regrets. And so uh, what does that mean? What I feel like that is saying is I feel like for some of you, maybe you have made a decision over the last six months and maybe you kind of regret that decision right now. Maybe that's why it feels like things are kind of falling apart here. Um, and again, it could be longer than six months, but just six months keeps popping into my head. I don't really trust um, psychic timing at all, but um, I'm getting something about six months here. And so I feel like there could be something, I wouldn't really call it a regret, although you do have the four cups, which is like thinking the grass is greener on the other side. So I feel like for some of you, either you or a person, if you're, if this is a love for you here, made a decision that they regret, uh, or there are some, like there are some regrets here. Four cups, thinking the grass is greener, six of swords, moving on uh, to calmer shores, moving on to something else, nine of swords, uh, sleepless nights, because somebody moved on in a situation, if this is love. Um, again, for some of you, this could be something else. You know, this could be like a work decision, maybe you uh, change jobs and maybe you hate your new job or something like that. But you have the, so I feel like saying no regrets because I feel like there is going to be something coming in for you that is going to be permanent. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is saying whatever this is here was probably just, a, is just a temporary situation. I feel like you also need to be careful of thinking that this was a waste of time because I really don't think it was at all, uh, Gemini. I, I, like I get a lot of questions from people that are like, you know, did I waste my time on this? And I'm always like, w w what I think is a waste of time is thinking that going through something is a waste of time. Because, you know, we are here to experience contrast, as, as Esther Hicks loves to say. So basically, we are here to experience things that we don't want so we can see what we do want, which is all this right here. It's like, without this, as uncomfortable as this probably is for you or was, if you are moving past it, Gemini, it is leading to ultimate happiness. So, you know, I feel like a lot of you uh, need to realize that, like, you have not wasted Wasted time. I keep hearing something about wasted time or feeling like you wasted time as well. But I feel like this is like a gift from the universe because of some challenges that you've gone through. Uh, let's clarify this, Gemini, and get some answers and see what's going on for you. Uh, between the Ten of Pentacles and five of, uh, uh, Three of Pentacles, you have the Five of Hearts. The Five of Hearts is really a playing card, and it can represent jealousy. So I feel like for some of you, uh, you could be dealing with like a jealousy type situation with that Five of Hearts. Uh, between the Hermit and the Six of Swords, you have the Ten of Spades here. Yeah, Ten of Spades is called movement. Uh, Ten of Spades is called the ship. It's like a boat on the ocean, and it just represents going from one place to another. I mean, literally, the Six of Swords, they are in a boat. So I feel like you're heading towards calmer shores. Uh, between the Four of Cups and the Moon, you have the Three of Hearts. Um, three of Hearts is a good card. Um, three of Hearts is just an indicator card. It indicates the direction of the reading, and it says you are moving in a positive direction. So, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, Gemini, I feel like you are headed in a positive direction. Uh, between the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, you have the Two of Diamonds here. Uh, the Two of Diamonds is a card of a settlement. Some, this could be a settlement for some of you here. Uh, so if you're dealing with something legal, this could be like a legal settlement coming in for you here. Look, you have the Ace of Cups here. It's like maybe you think that something isn't going to work out, but it actually does. Uh, between the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords, yeah, you have these Seven of Clubs. Like, I feel like something didn't reach its true potential. So for some of you, this could be a relationship. It's like maybe it never like fully got to the place that it was supposed to get. So I do feel like for some of you, I mean, the, the message is popping into my head is something did not reach its true potential. So I do feel that for some of you. And between the moon and the seven of swords, you have the king of hearts here. Uh, this is called, a card called the house or the home. Um, a lot of moving energy. Some of you could be moving. Uh, it is a card of safety, security, comfort, protection. Again, I do feel like you are trying to, that maybe you did try to protect yourself with that seven of swords or somebody. Like I get that balance beam feeling. Like I feel like I'm trying to balance things right now um, with this energy. So I feel like for some of you, it's like somebody is trying to prevent a disaster almost from happening. Uh, between the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups, you have the Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs says, do not beat yourself up over the past. So again, if you made a change and you know you did something or you made a decision, it was the wrong decision, or you're not happy, just realize that you can change again. It's like, and also, I feel like you need to look at the situation as you knowing now for sure what you don't want in your life with that card. 
Uh, between the Three of Swords and the King of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Clubs. Uh, this card is Seduction. Again, for some of you, I do feel like someone, this is definitely like a, a cheating situation here, Gemini. Um, again, I, you know, I always tell people, it's like, if you have a solid relationship, then there's probably not cheating going on. Don't go accusing your spouse or whatever of cheating just because a tarot reading says that it is. this is a general reading. Um, there would be obvious signs here, and you would probably know about it because there's a lot of sadness. So if you don't know about it, there's probably not cheating going on. But I do feel like if you were in a cheating situation, it's like someone got seduced away from the relationship here. It's, I almost feel like someone like violated their own nature is what I feel like saying as well. And it's almost like someone did something that was very out of character, something that they wouldn't normally do with that card. Uh, between the Seven of Swords and the Sun, you have the Eight of Diamonds. The Eight of Diamonds is called the Key, and it says you hold the keys necessary to have your true happiness here. Um, so I feel like there's happiness coming in for you, but how? Uh, you have the Eight of Hearts in your last row. Eight of Hearts is your is called the Moon, and it represents your romantic fantasies. It says you can have whatever you want. <laughs> uh, it is a card that says you need to bring your fantasies down to Earth. It also says get out of your head. Um, but the Eight of Hearts is like saying you just need to take the first steps. Guess what? The Ace of Cups here also says you need to take the first steps. The Ace of Cups says that you need to, um, you know, once you take, once you accept this cup, which could be an offer, it could be like a new opportunity. If your job sucks, like I said, it could be new love and it could just be a love offer in general. This card says once you accept it, then you'll be successful. Um, you know, because uh, this bird here, this dove is coming down with the Eucharist is causing the cup to overflow. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying like, once you take the first steps, you will be successful. Uh, middle row here, you have the four Four spades. Four spades card of recovery. It's very similar to the four swords. So I feel like some of you are just taking some time to recover. And bottom row, you have the king of clubs here. King of clubs is a card of confusion. Uh, you have the king and queen of clubs here, which could be a toxic relationship. So again, some of you could be removing yourself or you need to remove yourself from a toxic relationship. Um, so I feel that for some of you. Uh, for others, I also feel that there, I, I kept getting the future, future, future um, words popping into mind with these three cards, the tarot cards here. And I feel like that was, um, I, I feel that this reading is saying that you need to be more present as well. So some of you might need to kind of like step into the present moment at this time. Like I said, definitely challenging reading here. I feel like these are challenges that you're going through, but I feel like you're heading towards something that you really want. I feel like you need to like do that. I feel like you need to say, like, I feel like you should kind of look at the disgusting soup, like I said earlier, that you have been through. I feel like you need to like get it out and say, like, these are all the things I don't want from, from this situation. And maybe even talk about how much you didn't, you know, it could be to yourself, could be to a piece of paper, whatever, write it down of all the things you don't want. So get it out. And then I feel like once you start focusing from there on what you do want, then you will get it uh, plain and simple. So that looks really good. Uh, the ending here, Gemini. But uh, yeah, definitely challenging. So thank you for watching and definitely enjoy your week.